Shang-Chi is on his way, which means that the Mandarin won't be far behind. Marvel have released the first trailer for Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, the debut solo movie for their Master of Martial Arts. And it doesn't look like they'll be shying away from the crazy, mystical visuals. Which begs the question, how exactly will the Mandarin's legendary powers figure into proceedings? In this video, we're going to be looking at those abilities. Where do they come from? What do they allow him to do? And how deadly are they? The Mandarin derives his fearsome superpowers from ten rings, one on each of those evil fingers of his. The rings themselves were created by an advanced alien species called the Maklumans. Devilish, dragon-like creatures, they had the charming habit of imprisoning the souls of their dead warriors in technological rings, which is what gives the rings their power. And then what did the Maklumans do with them? Well, use them to power their spaceships. Can you imagine serving your species as a noble warrior for your entire life and then you have to spend the rest of eternity as a glorified car battery? What an indignity! Unfortunately for Shang-Chi, Iron Man, and everyone else on planet Earth, the Mandarin came upon the rings in a crashed Makluan ship in China's Valley of Souls. The ship's wounded pilot begged him not to use them. And of course, the Mandarin respected his wishes. <laughs> That's not true. The Mandarin killed him and took the rings anyway, like any self-respecting supervillain would. But what exactly can he do with these ten rings to rule them all? Well, precious, let's us explain. <clears throat> Excuse me, had something in my throat there. Let's explain. The ring on Mandarin's left pinky finger is called Zero, or the Ice Blast Ring, and it's full of fire. Ha! Gotcha again. It's actually an ice blaster, allowing Mandarin to dramatically lower the temperature of the air, or even of another living being. He can also shoot walls of freezing cold at his enemies, or imprison them in solid blocks of ice. And presumably get a crate of beer nice and frosty with a snap of his fingers. Chilling stuff, wouldn't you say? On the left ring finger we have the Mento Intensifier, also known as the Liar. A fearsome piece of jewelry, the Liar magnifies the Mandarin's latent psychic energy. This in turn allows him to control the minds of his opponents, paralyzing them or commanding them to do his bidding. He can also conjure up terrifying visions and hallucinations. Pretty nightmarish, though luckily it's only supposed to work at close range. Mandarin's left middle finger bears a ring called Electroblast, or Lightning. You'll be shocked to discover that this one allows him to shoot blasts of electrical energy. Interestingly, the ferocity of this energy is determined by the abilities of the individual wearer, and as far as we know, there's no upper limit. We imagine the Mandarin gets quite a buzz out of that one. Now for the left index finger. The ring Mandarin wears on this one is called Incandescence, or more commonly, Flame Blast. Got a burning hot take on what this one's capabilities might be? Well, no smoke without fire, it is indeed a Flame Blaster, igniting the very molecules of the air so that the Mandarin can either propel a wave of fire towards his opponents, or superheat materials in order to melt them down. Whew, it's getting hot in here. We're pretty sure you'll agree that that's a pretty fearsome assortment of powers already, and we're only just finishing the left hand. Mandarin's left thumb holds white light, also known as Daimonic, a colorful piece of technology that allows the wearer to manipulate various shades of energy from across the electromagnetic spectrum. With it, Mandarin can blind his opponents, levitate objects, project holograms, and even mess with gravity. It's a force to be reckoned with, you might say. On the other hand, literally, Mandarin's right pinky holds Black Light, also known as Nightbringer. This sneaky doohickey uses Dark Force energy to create an area of pure darkness, absorbing all light around it. Pretty handy for sneaking up on your opponents, or for when people won't turn off their phones in a movie theater. You know who you are. On the right ring finger we have the Disintegration Beam Ring, or Spectral. Pretty sure Boba Fett would probably like this one. It destroys the bonds between atoms and molecules, causing objects to, you know, disintegrate. The drawback? It needs 20 minutes to recharge between uses. But we can't imagine the Mandarin falling apart over that. He does have nine other rings to choose from, after all. On to Eminem and Stone Cold Steve Austin's favorite digit, the right middle finger. This one holds the Vortex Beam Ring, or Spin, which causes a powerful air vortex. With this, Mandarin can levitate objects and opponents, blast people with powerful air attacks, and even fly. That'll certainly take the wind out of anyone's sails. Mandarin's right index finger bears the Impact Beam Ring, aka Influence. 
and not the social media kind of influence, this ring shoots powerful blasts of concussive or sonic force. It's an ideal accessory for anyone looking to make an impact. And yes, I can already hear you ask, are we really doing a bad pun for every single entry? Well, guess you'll just have to wait and see. And finally, the Mandarin's right thumb, on which he wears the Matter Rearranger Ring, also known as Remaker. This gives him the power to manipulate matter on an atomic and molecular level. Among other things, he can turn the air into gas, or into a solid material to encase his opponents. I already feel you bracing in anticipation of the bad pun. So where is it? Eh, no pun for this one, we just hate being predictable. Okay, so the Mandarin has the rings, but surely if you take those away, he's powerless, right? Nope! He's also in peak physical condition, a skilled martial artist, a super genius, and he can survive for years without food or water. Good luck with that one, Shang-Chi. 